Hi, I'm Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of current biography. It's a very good database if you want to find out more information about someone who has been in the news. To get to that database from the college um, homepage, mouse over student support and click on library. Your interface may look a little different because we're going through a redesign, but the search strategy should be the same. Once you're at the library homepage, scroll down to all databases and we're going to be clicking that in a moment but first i want to point out ask a librarian this is 24 7 research help you'll either get an smc librarian or a librarian from one of our partner colleges and universities in the consortium but no matter whenever you ask a librarian that's exactly what you're doing so if you need help with your research ask us heading into the databases all Databases gives you a list of all of the databases that we currently subscribe to with a short description of what's in each database. They're listed alphabetically by title. So we scroll down to Current Biography. And as you notice, it's got quite a few people in it, but it is still selective. Not everyone is in there. When you click on the database, if you have a particular person, you can look for them. But sometimes you might be in a class, um, say a fashion design class, and your instructor says you need to do a profile of a fashion designer. And all of the fashion designers you know are brand new, up and coming, cutting edge, and haven't really been in the news very much. So what do you do? Well, one of the nice things about this database is you can search by a variety of options. Not only can you search by the person, but you can search by where they were born. You can search by occupation, what they do. So we're going to try that first. And I'm going to say, I would like a fashion designer, please. When I search that out, I get 229 people, which is probably a few too many. So I might want to narrow it down a little bit. So I can say for my second search term, I want to look for someone who was born in Japan. And when I search that out, it goes all the way down to five. Much easier to deal with if kind of not very many. So I can pick one of these. And I'm going to pick Junior One Lobby. When I click on the title of the person, it gives me information about them, tells me where they got this information from, and then talks about the person from their early life through their professional life and then gives suggested further readings as well as information you can use for your citation. With this up at the top on the right hand side you have some options. You can save it to your Google Drive. I don't recommend adding it to the folder. Sometimes things fall out. You can print it, you can email it, you can save it, you can cite it. So if I decide I want this, I'm going to email it to myself. So I tell it who I am, give it some sort of subject, and over here on the right hand side I say please give me an example citation. It is alphabetical by format, and we are not in Brazil, so we're not going to use the Brazilian national standards. Instead, we're going to wander on down to MLA or APA or whatever citation it is that your instructor is requiring. Then, never send it in plain text format. You'll lose all of your graphics and formatting. We send it off. And it will tell you, we've done that. If you want to cite it, you can cite it from here as well. Again, it's alphabetical by order. Please pay attention to the warning that the database and that I give you. Don't just copy and paste and put it in your paper and turn it in. Copy and paste and fix it and then turn it in. You don't want to lose points because the bot screwed up your citation. So if I scroll down here to MLA, this is what they give me. Yes, there are problems. There's some spacing errors. There's some font size and font type errors. So you'll want to fix it before you turn it in. When you're done with this, 
head back to your result list, and continue to search the database. If you have any questions, you can chat with a librarian right here embedded in the database, or go back to the library homepage and use the Ask a Librarian button. Good luck with your search, and be well.